hear uh, you know the political discourse uh, where uh, the opposition continues to say are uh, china has taken away our land uh, this government is only for crony gvs uh, when they come out and say that oh why is a stadium named after the prime minister a living prime minister how do you see all of these things is it personalized attack only for short term political gains or is this something that is in the right direction because the opposition must ask these questions the uh, responsible opposition is a must in a democratic process there's no question about but at the same time for the kind of economic situation our people are in when 60 uh, when 20% of the human beings are malnourished nearly 60% are very very poor don't have much to live for when this is our condition i don't think we should be talking too much about nuances it's an insult to the poor people in this world you're talking something that doesn't even matter to them nuances of democracy you're thinking you're in british uh, parliament no you're in indian parliament you must talk about the crisis in your constituencies and what can be done about it each mp should fight for uplifting their constituency rather than talking all these nuances that they've just imported from western nations where western nations when it comes to the well-being of their country they will keep away all their nuances and act ruthlessly when they need to act if we don't learn that we will only be a talking nation not really acting upon the well-be upon actions which will bring well-being i'm saying this is the best shot we have right now we have a population where nearly 60% is below 30 years of age this is not a small thing the, at the same time we did not create this consciously somebody was gloating about this we have the youngest nation we have the youngest nation a uh, former minister i asked him what happened to the old people he said what no no we are the youngest nation i said that is fine what happened to the old people there are no old people in the country because every nobody gets old they die before they 50 55 only now it reach 70 so you don't gloat about it that you created the youngest nation you did not create the youngest nation by default by unfortunate default it has happened but right now it's a great asset we must encash that if we do not encash this in the next 15 to 20 years we've lost our we've missed the bus i'm telling you for the kind of condition people are living in right now with this vibrant youth population if you don't skill them if you don't give them proper orientation if you don't give them inspiration you go on debating everything to death too much analysis leads to paralysis that's where the country is going it's very very important that there is a time to debate there is a time to act time to debate must be minimized time to act must be enhanced this is why i say i you know almost 12 15 years ago i said the entire throughout the uh, year every year it feels like nation is in an election mode please make it one time three to four months ahead fix a rule that before 90 days you can't open your mouth about election 90 days you campaign what you want you abuse each other as it's being done do whatever the hell you want once election is over whatever people choose respect that for next 5 years if you don't do this democracy will become an impediment unfortunately